Here is an instinct that is built into every human as a survival instinct. There are two different types of fear, biochemical fear and emotional fear. Biochemical fear is natural emotion and survival instincts. It's the physical reaction people have to whatever scares them. An example of biochemical fear is fight or, res or flight response. That is when your brain tells your body to either stay and fight or run when you get scared. Emotional fear is personalized and is produced using the same response our brain uses to produce happy or excited emotions. There is no concrete cause for either of these fears because everyone reacts to fear in a different way. People's interest in monsters is no new thing. That has been going on for many, many years. The interest in monsters starts when we are children and show interest in fairy tales. Just like fairy tales, monster stories allow us to escape from reality. According to Leo Brody in his book, Haunted, there are four different types of monsters. The first is the monster from nature. This monster has two different subcategories. The mysterious monsters, such as Sasquatch, Yeti, and the Loch Ness Monster, and the menacing specimen, such as King Kong and Godzilla. These monsters are made from the fear of nature wanting to take her revenge on us for trans our transgressions against her. The second type of monster is created by the fear of science. These monsters are created purposely by a scientist that believes they can play God and create a living thing. An example of these types of monsters is Frankenstein. The third type of monster is the Jackal and Hyde effect. This monster first appeared in the 1800s and represents the doppelganger effect on humans. This represents the late Victorian death of psychology and therefore is considered a psychological monster. The last type of monster is the monster from the past. These are vengeful monsters that come back to take revenge on humans because of our modern progress, improvement, and change. An example of this is the modern zombie. According to Brody, people are afraid of the zombie because it represents our fear of groups. Quote, there is no hierarchy in the zombie world. No king zombie. So fear of zombies represents a modern fear of groups. End quote. Along with the fear of groups that comes with zombies, there is also the fear of human-like qualities that the zombie tends to possess. This fear is known as the uncanny valley. Uncanny valley is how people react to something that is human that has human-like tendencies but is not human. According to Stephanie Lay, people fear the zombie because of the eyes of a zombie. Lay found in her studies that when the eyes looked glazed over but still human, most people reacted with disgust and fear. When the image had normal human eyes but an ugly misshapen face, people reacted by thinking the image wasn't a suitable mate and also reacted with disgust. The fear we feel when we see a monster is our brain's way of kicking into survival mode and telling us something is wrong. We as humans either use that fear as a way to get entertainment or we use that fear as a sign that we should never go near the monster that produced the fear. Either way, fear is a way for our brain to tell us something is different and how to react to that.